green. Once upon a star, there was a teddy bear, a green teddy bear. He didn't have a name, so let's just call him Green. He lived in a big department store called Schumann's. You could buy anything at Schumann's. Beds, toy robots, chairs, doors, enormous televisions, even toilets. They also sold teddy bears, but not this one. Nobody had bought him. He had lived alone on that shelf his entire life. What he wanted more than anything in the whole world was a hug. Nobody had ever given him a hug. Not even the people who made him at the toy factory. He was completely hugless. When the store was closed, Green would sit ignored on his shelf, looking out the window. One night, a star suddenly shot across the sky, which surprised him so much, he forgot to make a wish. That night, Green made a plan. He would go up to the sky, find a shooting star, and make his wish. Green hopped off his shelf and onto the moving stairs in search of escape. When he reached the top, he couldn't believe his eyes. There in front of him was a wonderful red hot air balloon. He could fly up to the sky, but the window was locked. How could he get out? Just then, he spotted a hammer resting on the floor. Perfect. Green scooped it up in his paws and he charged at the window, took a deep breath, bashed it against the glass and... nothing. Green slumped to the floor, feeling sadder than ever. When he looked down, he noticed the hammer had eyes. Those eyes looked at him for a long time. You look sad too, said Green. What do you expect? You just smashed my head against the window. But you're a hammer. I'm a hammerhead shark, corrected the old fish. A hammerhead shark with a sore head. Green apologised and revealed his plan as the shark rubbed his head with a fin. I agree, emphasised the old hammerhead. A hug would be nice. So you've never read one either? Kid, who wants to hug a hammerhead teddy? At least you're a bear. He climbed up onto a nearby box of soap. It's ironic. You're a fluffy version of the most dangerous land predator on the planet, and you're still a hundred times more likely to get a hug than an old prototype like me. What's a prototype? asked Green. I am. A test toy. If it sells well, they make more. Well, it's been twenty years and I'm still here. So you're the only teddy hammerhead in the world. Wow! It must be special to be unique. The old hammerhead smiled for the first time in a long while. You and me both, huh? Green frowned and looked at his fur. You mean, maybe I'm a prototype too? Well, kid, you're the first green teddy bear I've ever seen. The old hammerhead chuckled, but Green looked sad. Hey, cheer up, kid. This means we're both unique. Now it was Green's turn to smile. The two new friends slapped Finn against Paw. A bond had been made. Now let's jump in that balloon and get out of here. The old hammerhead chuckled. But you'll need a real hammer. Over there, in the hardware section. The hammer was too heavy for Green. He tried to swing it but fell backwards, making a hole in the floor. Are you trying to dig your way out? Quipped the old hammerhead. Here, let me help you. The hammerhead was old but strong. He gripped the tool with both fins, took a huge swing, and smash! Ding, ling, 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 ling. The alarm echoed through the store. There was no time to lose. They jumped in the basket, fired up the balloon, and set sail for the stars. The balloon ride was awesome. Soon they were super high. The world below a glittering toy town. Bright lights, small city. The crescent moon seemed to smile as the pair drifted by. It was breathtaking. Green and the old hammerhead sat in their basket and gazed, hypnotised by the sparkling skyline. It's incredible, huh, kid? Green nodded that it was, but looked anxious as his eyes scanned the galaxy. There's lots of stars 
but none of them are moving. It's not easy to find a shooting star, kid, consoled the old hammerhead. But how can I make my wish if I can't find one? Green sighed. Now that he was all the way up in space, he felt lonelier than ever. The old hammerhead felt sad for his new friend. Then he had a great idea. Maybe I can't make a shooting star, but I can make a star shoot. He swung the hammer at the closest star and smashed it so hard it shot across the sky with a whoosh. Green was thrilled. He squeezed his eyes shut and he made his wish. It was time to go back. As they drifted down to earth, the moon and the stars became fainter as the city loomed below. It kind of made the old hammerhead feel sad. Cheer up, old hammerhead. We made our wish. You're no kid, thought the old hammerhead to himself. I'm not sure it counts if you had to whack it with a hammer. But he didn't say anything. Why spoil a great night? He was just pleased that his friend was happy. Besides, it's nice for a kid to dream. The old hammerhead had long since forgotten. But as they approached Schumann's, disaster struck. A blue police helicopter was hovering above the store. It was right in their path. They frantically tried to steer out of the way, but it was too late. They were going to crash. The whirling blades of the chopper sliced through the balloon, sending them whizzing through the air like, well, like a burst balloon. The pair came hurtling down to earth with a crash. Lost and frightened, Green and the old hammerhead huddled together in the corner of their broken basket and sobbed themselves to sleep. The next morning they were woken up by the sound of a loud bell, then voices, then footsteps. Lots of voices, lots of footsteps. Cautiously they rose to peek over the basket to be greeted by a huge collective gasp. <gasps> a hundred little smiling faces were gazing at them. They had landed in a schoolyard. How cute! A teddy! cooed one little girl called Alexa. And he's green! My favourite colour! And is that a hammerhead teddy? gasped a boy beside her. A nice lad called Charlie. How cool! I've never seen one of those before! And with that, all the children rushed over, picked them up and gave them the biggest hugs in the whole wide world. So it was, on that breezy morning, a green teddy bear and an old hammerhead were passed around for a hug over and over again. The pair became class mascots. Every weekend, children took them home for an adventure and kept a diary. One Saturday night, Alexa and Charlie took them up to the observatory to gaze at the stars. Green and the old hammerhead never did see a shooting star that night even when they looked through an enormous telescope. But it didn't matter. Their wish had already come true. The end.